Turning now to the incredible true story of one man's fight for justice. Back in 1989 in New Jersey, Isaac Wright Jr., a 28-year-old music producer, husband and father, was wrongfully convicted of being a drug kingpin and sentenced to life in prison. Wright's new book, Marked for Life, One Man's Fight for Justice from the Inside, details his journey to freedom, helping to overturn 20 of his fellow inmates' convictions, and then finally his own. Now an attorney, he's helping people just like him. Isaac Wright Jr. joins us now. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. You go into quite a bit of detail about what you believe led to your arrest. Summarize that for us and, and what was going through your head at the time. I walked into a situation when I moved to New Jersey. Uh, that I wasn't prepared for. Um, very successful young man, um, you know, in the prime of my life, doing the best that I could to raise uh, raise a family and to be successful. And that turned out uh, to be an Achilles heels. Um, I, I came under target of this particular uh, prosecutor, um, first based on some acquaintances. It was the appearance of wealth. Um, and, and that became the beginning of the end for me. And when you refused to take a plea deal and decided to represent yourself, what doubts did you have at the time? The first time I got convicted of anything, I, I got life in prison for it. So I, I was not, I was, I was new to this. And so it was a, a, an incredible shock, not just the charges um, and the fact that I was facing life, but my experience within the system, the things that I found out about how the system really worked, about how the people uh, in the system treated uh, others uh, that were subject um, to their authority. Uh, so that was a, an incredible wake up call. Uh, and, and I had to do something about it. I, I, I found myself alone. Uh, and when I say that, and this is very important for me to say, when, when, when I say I was alone, I'm not saying I didn't have family and people that, that didn't love me and people that didn't support me. The system is set up to isolate you from that. Uh, without your attorney, you are truly alone. And with your attorney, if he's not set to do the right things for you, then you're even more alone. You're in more trouble with an attorney that's not gonna do the right thing for you than you are um, representing yourself. Um, so I, I, I had to choose the what I believed was the best of both evils, and that was you know, to represent myself. You were sentenced to life. How much time did you actually serve? I was sentenced to life on just one charge. I was sentenced to approximately 70 years on the other charges. And um, I served seven and a half years in prison before I was able to turn it all around. It, why was it so important for you to see your fellow inmates' convictions overturned before your own? I, I, I had no idea that I, that I had a gift until I went to prison. And I understood even you know getting told no, even losing motions, I understood that I had something that was different. Uh, and I saw the difference in what I had in terms of my ability to understand the law and to litigate it and what they had. And they needed help. They were also alone. And what I was going through was projected on my empathy for what they were actually going through. So it was, it was, it was not only uh, a sense of obligation, but it was also a way that I was able to fight back. I was just not fighting back with my case. I was fighting back with all the injustices that has surrounded me. I can only imagine. Your story inspired the ABC show For Life, and you're now cementing your journey in this book, Marked for Life. What's next for you? Uh, there's a number of things uh, that's coming up uh, that I'm very excited about. Um, you know, 50 and I are, are working on something that, um, you know, we're kind of keeping under wraps uh, until the, the first quarter of next year. It's a, it's a very exciting endeavor, very um, happy about it, and I, and I think it's going to do a lot of public good. Um, there's also, uh, I'm, I'm drifting into the finance world, and, you know, as a part of, of what I experienced, uh, one of the things about reentry is, you know, it's very, very difficult for people coming back into the world to find their footing. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to start an organization or working on starting an organization. And so worthwhile all that you are doing. Isaac, we thank you so much for your time. His book, Marked for Life, One Man's Fight for Justice from the Inside, is now available wherever books are sold.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.